Kareem Russell Wilt Shaq. For generations, the NBA has been dominated by talented big men. Fans across the globe celebrate these legends, recognizing them as four of the 10 greatest players of all time. However, there's one man whose footwork, shot blocking, and soft touch enabled him to dominate in an era primarily ran by seven footers. That man was Hakeem the Dream Olajuwon. Selected from the University of Houston with the number one overall pick in the 84 draft, Hakeem had an immediate impact on the floor, averaging 20 and a half points, 12 rebounds, and almost three blocks a night. He became one of the few players in recent times to make the all-star team as a rookie. The Rockets as a whole won 19 more games in the 84-85 season than in the year prior, thus becoming a playoff team, something that Akeem would guide the organization to for 14 years. In just his second season, the Dream would lead the Rockets to a 51-win season and an NBA Finals appearance, beating the Showtime Lakers in their prime in five games, before eventually falling to the loaded Boston Celtics roster in the Finals. While the Rockets wouldn't make the Finals for another eight years, Hakeem would rack up various All-Star, All-NBA, and All-Defensive selections, while having some monster seasons in the process, including a playoff series against the Dallas Mavericks, where the Dream would put up 37 and a half points, 17 rebounds, three blocks, and two and a half steals a night, as well as a quadruple double performance in 1990. Fast forwarding a few years, the Lakers and Celtics dynasties came to an end and the NBA was governed by Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls. The league also saw an influx in talent, the center position as Patrick Ewing, David Robinson, Shaq and others rose into stardom guiding their teams to successful seasons. Despite that, Hakeem would have some of his greatest seasons in an era where it was hardest to do so. He would win his first Defensive Player of the Year award and finished second in the MVP race in 1993 as he averaged 26 points, 13 rebounds, and over four blocks a game while leading his team to a 55-win season and an appearance in the conference semifinals. The following year, the Rockets would win 58 games while Akeem would become one of three players in NBA history to win the MVP, Defensive Player of the Year, and Finals MVP award all in the same season. In one of the most underrated finals runs ever, the Rockets had to beat Clyde Drexler's Blazers, the dominant Charles Barkley-led Suns who made the finals the year prior, and the Malone and Stockton-led Jazz, all before making the NBA Finals. They then had to face off against the hungry New York Knicks, led by one of the best players in the league at the time, and Patrick Ewing. The 1994 Finals was a battle of the ages, as the series lasted seven games, with each team winning by no more than nine points. The Knicks took a 3-2 lead heading back to Houston for the final two games, and the Rockets protected their home court, winning their first championship in franchise history. Hakeem outdueled Ewing in their battle of the bigs as he put up 27 points, nine rebounds, three and a half assists, and four blocks a game. The following year, the Rockets would drop down to 47 wins in a regular season, making them the sixth seed in the West. Between this and missing 10 games in the season, Hakeem lost out on both the MVP and Defensive Player of the Year award in 1995. This lit a fire under him. Without home court advantage for four straight series, Hakeem averaged 33 points per game in the postseason, slaying the Giants of the Western Conference in the process. In the first round, it was Karl Malone and John Stockton again. In the semifinals, it was Charles Barkley and the second greatest offense in the league, but the Western Conference Finals was personal. David Robinson celebrated an MVP trophy that Hakeem believed was rightfully his. However, the best way to exact revenge and prove the voters wrong was to dominate on the floor and he did just that. In one of the greatest series performances of all time, the Dream averaged 35 points per game, 12 and a half rebounds, five assists, and four blocks as he walked all over David Robinson and the San Antonio Spurs. Then, in the 1995 NBA Finals, another battle of the bigs took place. Only this one ended a lot sooner as the Rockets swept Shaq, Penny, and the Orlando Magic en route to their second consecutive NBA title. The Dream had a 33-point, 11.5 rebound performance as he won yet another Finals MVP award. In the following years, the Rockets would still be competitive and Akeem would continue to put up big numbers and performances. However, with age came injuries and the Dream would begin to miss nearly half the season in consecutive years. Nonetheless, he still managed to accumulate 12 All-Star, 9 All-Defensive, and 12 all-NBA selections for his career to go along with his two rings and finals MVPs and two Defensive Player of the Year awards. Looking back at his career, Hakeem Olajuwon not only came up big against other Hall of Famers when it mattered most, he also cemented himself as the all-time leader in blocks, 
and utilized one of the most unstoppable moves in the Dream Shake. His legacy after his career has been great as well, as Akeem continuously trains NBA players, helping them with their footwork and post game. While the top 10 players of all time is a coveted list of which most players never get a chance to embrace, Hakeem, the dream Elijah certainly makes a case for belonging in that echelon of basketball immortality. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video and consider becoming a member of the Taste Sports community. Until next time, peace.